Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to week five of the Holly Jolly Kitchen. I'm Ginger. And I'm Jingle. Guys, this week is our finale. Woo! So exciting. I can't believe it's almost over, honestly. Like, it has been a crazy ride. And I cannot wait to see what our final contestants have for us today. Stick around, see what's next. guys this is the finale in our great Bethel baking challenge season 2 holly jolly edition that's right guys we cannot wait to see what our final two competitors are gonna come up with this round they have the biggest thing they've had to decorate yet and they only have five minutes to complete their tasks so let's see how awesome they can make the cake they have to decorate for the season finale of our holly jolly kitchen series you guys can begin in three two one, go! Oh man, it's oh, immediately, immediately he breaks in to the frosting with his fingers, just not even an icing. Oh, and then Whoa. Lily's got a whole nother tactic. She is cutting into her cake. What is she gonna do? Wow. I think she's, she's gonna have a surprise in store for our, for our judges. Mm. Oh, look at that. Now, Lily's might might be a little creative, but Balin is definitely making his time work for him. Lily's got the neat and tidy tactic going, and Balin <laughs> is just all in, up to his elbows. <laughs> so slow, oh my goodness. You have a little less than two and a half minutes left. You are just halfway through the competition. This is the season finale. Let's see what they can come up with. What do you think, folks at home? I need to know. Tell me, what do you think? Is it going to be Lily, the red team, the girls team, who has stood out this entire season? Or is it going to be Balin pulling it out for the boys team? He's in the green. I think he might be a go. It's a snowman on an ice rink. I 
you can clearly tell. I definitely did not just pull that together in the last five seconds. All right, because it's the finale, we're gonna have two different rounds of judging. So right now I have some judges with me right now. And how this is gonna work is I want you guys to pick up a piece of candy and put it in the corresponding jar of the cake you think is the best. But let's hear some, let's hear some discussion on techniques and why you want to vote a certain way. I like the extreme, excessive use of frosting on this one. Okay. What is that, a, a snowman on top? I like the little carrot nose, that's cute. Mm -hmm. yep, good technique there. Um, maybe not as quite, you know, it's kind of like a sideways snowman. Didn't get like not high quite nailed it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, Halfway melted. melted. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a melty snowman on this side. Um, but let's talk about this one. I can see little ears, the face. Kind of creeps me out just a little bit. You can tell it's a bear. Yes, yeah, some, some kind sorts. of bear. I think the interesting part about this one, as with any baking competition, um, it's always more interesting to me when someone takes the original form and alters it a little bit. So I think um, this contestant had a little more creativity in that of altering the the actual original shape. Mm. A little bit. That's true. A little bit. Yeah, I mean they had to take out pieces and put that on the cake, so that was good. Awesome. I like Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> Can't eat it yet. <laughs> you guys are free to vote on a piece of candy. Decisions, decisions. Yeah. Who's going to cast the first vote? I'm going to cast the first vote. Ooh. Ooh. Awesome. Thank you. We'll get a, another group of kids up here to vote. All right. We have our next round of judges up here. Um, what I want you guys to do is take a piece of candy and place that in the corresponding um, cup next to the cake you think is the best decorated. And then you can move off, off scene. Thank you. Oh, interesting. All right, welcome back contestants to the finale of the Great Bethel Baking challenge okay we have come up with a winner we had several of judges um, vote on which cake was the best and we have decided drum roll yes <laughs> and the winner is lily
Christmas time is here. Clap your hands louder now. Christmas time is here. Jump up and down. Shout it out. Christmas time is here. Jesus! God's gift to me. Jesus! You change everything. Jesus! I'm gonna dance and sing cause you're too wonderful. Stories of the Bible. Jesus is born. This is Mary. Hi! You see, Mary was the mother of Jesus, but before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. And she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Hey, uh. Hi, Joseph! Who <laughs> got it? Mary got pregnant by the power of God. Hey, huh? Joseph didn't understand all this at first, but an angel came and told him to still take Mary as his wife. Yeah, okay. So he did as the angel said. Not long after that, the ruler of the land, Caesar Augustus, wanted to count how many people were in the land. So Caesar Augustus ordered everyone in the land to travel back to their hometowns so that they could be counted. Joseph's hometown was Bethlehem, so Mary and Joseph traveled from Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they looked for a place to stay. No, I'm sorry. Oh, man. But there was no room for them. Uh, what about her? Um, okay. So they stayed in a barn, and while they were there, Mary gave birth to Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> she wrapped him snugly in the strips of cloth. Uh, that'll work. 
and laid him in a manger. Excuse me. And so the Son of God, the Savior of the world, was born in a barn in Bethlehem. Thanks so much for joining us. It's almost bittersweet that this is the end of our series, but it is also Christmas week. And just like we saw in our Bible story, we celebrate Jesus' birth on Christmas Day. So while you're at home opening your presents or visiting with your family, just remember that it is Jesus' birthday we're really celebrating. And say a little prayer, thank him, say happy birthday Jesus, and do not miss next Sunday right here because even though we're all done with our Holly Jolly Kitchen series, we have some serious stuff to celebrate next week. That's the, that's the only tease I'm going to give you. Celebrate. So come back, check it out next week. that watches that knows Fortnite will apparently know this. I did not know this until my husband told me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like bulbs that don't have to like, Okay, yeah. All right. I should have said and have a Merry Christmas, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, scoot that way. Okay. Our final week. Yes. Okay. Ready? Three. Decided on a winner of the Bethel Baking <laughs> Whatever we call this thing. Okay. Yeah? Okay. <laughs>